Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for today, and let's see what kind of tool you need for this class. Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay, today we're gonna do the watercolor. All right, so don't worry about the water, don't worry about the color for now. We just want to do the pencil outline at the beginning. All right, so first of all, we have to check out our paper. You must have the watercolor paper. That's a special paper for the watercolor. So you will see watercolor on the cover. All right, and remember the mixed media paper. We can do the dry media work on the mixed media paper, and we also can do some light watercolor on the mixed media paper. All right, so either one, watercolor papers or mixed media paper. So can we use the printing paper for this time? No, we couldn't, all right, because that's too thin, and when we apply the water on the paper, it will be red. All right, so no printing paper. Only watercolor paper and mixed media paper. All right, so we don't need to worry about the watercolor and the brushes. For now, you only need to have a pencil because we're gonna do the outlines and erasers, the sharpeners in case. So how about the tracing markers? We can keep that at the end. If you can't make the color look clean, you can make the color stay inside, then we can trace after the joints. All right, same thing. We need to have two different sides of the markers. All right, even we might not use it, but we will see. All right, the thin one and the thick one. All right, so make sure you have the right papers. And we can start. All right, so today I want you to decorate the entrance. So we were going to do a door together and I will do two stairs. Then you have to start to decorate your entrance around the door. All right, let's see. So I want to borrow the fingers. I want to see three fingers on the right hand side. All right, a dot. So make sure your paper is like the vertical. And five fingers, entire hands, a dot. So your door will be in between here. All right, so two fingers on the top. All right, so that's it. Let's start. The horizontal line on the top, touch the point that we just made. And all the way down, touch the point. Be going down, come to here. The bottom is about maybe seven fingers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven fingers. So have to stop here. Same thing on the right. And stop there because they have to be on the same level. So that's where's our door. Okay? So about three fingers. A horizontal line. Wider than the door. Wider than the door. Okay, and I only have two fingers left on the left, two fingers on the right. Okay, then close it. Close it. Alright, and straight down about a fingers. About a fingers. Close it. And diagonal lines about a finger's left on the left. A diagonal line about a finger's on the right. Close it. So that's a stair. Alright, about a finger's. Alright, we're done with the basic. You got the door, you got the stair. Alright, so now I want to focus on the door. So all the door has the door frame. So we have to do the frame first. But we only have the frame on the left, top, and right. Okay, only the left, top, and right. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So now feel free to decide your door. What kind of handle you can open the door? Do you need the doorbell? Do you need the number? Do you need the windows? Okay. And on the stair, what do you want to place? You want to put the flowers. You want to put the pumpkins. You want to put the gift. All right. Or maybe you have the small garden on the side. Okay. So now you have about ten minutes. Okay. So you have entire ten minutes to think about it and do it. On your paper. All right. So remember, we're gonna do with the watercolor, so you are not going to make the stuff look so small and tiny. All right. So you can begin.
Alright, so finish the pencil line, you have to clarify all the extra line that we don't need it. We do the watercolor and we are not doing the tracing, so try your best to keep the paper looks clean. Alright, and that's it, what we're gonna do and what we're gonna need for the next step. Okay, so after we done the pencil outline for our watercolors, okay, so let's see the tools that we need to use for the coloring. Okay, first of all, we are not using the pencil to do the color, we need to use the brush. So make sure the brush is very soft, okay? If you have the brush like the grass, very dry and very hard, that is not for the watercolor, that's for painting. Alright, so make sure your watercolor brush is correct, it has to be soft. All right, so I need to have a big one, the middle one, and the teeny tiny one for the small area. All right, so that's the brushes. Of course, we need to have the water, and I would suggest that you can have two containers for the water and make sure they are the cool water. Why we need two? One for washings, one for a pry on the watercolors. Okay, so we can keep the one of them looks always clean and one for washing the dirty colors. All right, so it's better to have two. All right, and we also need to have the towel. All right, so this is the fabric ones. I can reuse it all the time. So that's my watercolor. So you can see how dirty is it. Okay, and if you don't have the towel just for watercolor, you can have your paper napkin, but better to have the one that you can reuse it. All right, so we don't waste anything. All right. So of course you need to have the color. If sometimes the color looks like to the tube like this, you can scratch on the trayer that you need. All right, so that's a container for my watercolors. And we need to mix the color or create the color. So you need to have a plate or a trayer, okay? So we always mix the color on the trayer and the plate. So make sure you have the plate for that, okay? All right, so that's it, you have everything brushes with different sizes, water, colors, towels, and the trayer. All right, when you're ready, then we can start to do the colors. All right, so same thing. We have to do the color blendings, okay? So you can use any color for the door, then we can start with the door. I want my door looks a little bit bluish, so I prepare the blue colors. Okay, and you don't need that much because we have to mix them with the water. Like this one. Okay, it has to be very watery. So it will be like the water colors. Alright, then when the water color mix well, like this one, like the juice. Alright, then we can start to do the color. So you can color around. So we are doing the tracing. We are doing the tracings. Just make sure the color go very smooth and neat. Especially the door is super straight. So try to make your color look straight as well. All right. So if no more color, please come back to apply more color on the brush. Be careful. We are not going to color the decoration on the door. You have to skip them. All right, just a simple color because they are flat. So don't worry about dark, medium, and light. Okay, so now you can begin to color your door. Then forget about the decoration on the door. Then finish the door and add. Uh, start to color your decoration on the stair. Okay, then we will coming back to do the door.
All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to do the stair, the concrete one. So you need to have the boots, a little bit orange. All right, so you're gonna have the great colors. All right, so when I do the stair, I only color the side with the gray color that we just made. Just like we do the candy, we add in the shadow first. We add in the shadow first. If you have the decoration on it, you have to skip them. You are not apply the stair shadow on the background. Okay, and one more, we have two stair. Alright, then we can use the shadow to uh, use this shadow color. If you have something like the the rock, the pumpkins, you have to add the shadow right underneath. Right under it. Alright, then we can use the shadow to color on the door. If you have the mailbox, we have the shadow under the mailbox. If you have the window, we have the shadow right under the windows side of the windows um, there are the handles the door belt all right and if you have the the ramps on the sides the handle then you have to fall to the handles the shadow shadow right there very very light okay then you can weigh them totally dry then you can start to color what color you like for the the stair, the window, the frame, and we don't need to color the wall, okay? And the handle after. Okay, now you can take about one to two minutes break when you finish the shadow. When the paper is totally dry, then you can keep working on the colors.
All right. So if you have the window on the door, if the light is on, you're gonna color inside be yellow. If their light is off, no one is in there, you can color them with black color. But if you choose to do the black color, the color has to be the last part, which means you have to finish all the colors. Then you can color with the black at the end. All right. So mine is yellow. Okay, I have a little bit yellow color on the on the ground. Looks like the light on the on the floor. All right. So keep working on it. So when we finish the big parts, then you might me need to switch the brush become smaller and smaller so you can color somewhere very small. All right.
Alright, so good art takes time. We have lots of detail. So don't be rushed. Keep all the color clean, neat, and even they are very small. Alright, so take your time. Alright, so when you're done, find a spot to sign the name and write out the date. And that's the class for today.